Oh, I said, uh, this is one of the songs that has made the BBC famous. Oh, by the way, have you heard about the very new territorial officer drilling a division of men on Beachy Head? He says, division to the right in fours, form fours, right turn, quick march. And they're going towards the precipice, and he can't think of the next word of command. Being truly British, three battalions have already gone over the top. He still can't think of the next word of command. Suddenly, a man from the rear rank of the last battalion shouts out, for heaven's sake, say something, say even if it's only goodbye. <laughs> well, here's a little international song. You know, folk are losing patience with the Languid League of Nations, though we believe their efforts never cease. We also think a lever at their councils at Geneva should ensure a worldwide everlasting peace. If the world really wants peace right from the heart, everybody's got to play a part. The patriotic men of Prussia should assist the Reds of Russia, perish in the field so bitterly. What's done cannot be undone, but the male, male men of London should offer Rothermere to Italy. Buenos Aires willy-nilly should just freeze onto Chile. Mexico should try to make amends. And after that, perhaps, too, the Finks would love the Japs, too, or they ought to make it up and all be friends. Oh, the Cads of Costa Rica and the Tufts of Tanganyika shouldn't show their feelings half so much. The Swedes, of whom they are legion, who are friends of the Norwegian, should show devoted hearts towards the Dutch. The Isles of the Bahamas should assist the Danish farmers, as quarrelling over Shakespeare never ends. All these friends of eggs and bacon should admit they are mistaken. They ought to make it up and all be friends. Oh, the gurgling little Gurkha should dance a mad mazurka with the dervishes who are so full of verve. And the Sikhs and the Punjabis leave the country where the Saab is to spend peaceful days in Iceland they deserve. All those friends of Omar Khayyam should read his works in Siam, where they never have a library that lends. The big game hunting Zulu should start a zoo in Honolulu. They ought to make it up and all be friends, second verse. It's hardly altruistic to be so pacifistic, but it's possible if only folk would try. To conquer hostile raving and be paving by behaving the road that leads where olive branches lie. Though why they should lie there, no one can know. Olive branches usually grow. But the princes of Peruvia should write a note to Iluvia to the titivating Tartars of Tibet. The doings in Morocco, which gave Spain such a shocker, the rifts should start expressing their regret. Panama, the Isthmus, should give up rows at Christmas, forget the darn canal that she defends. There's the smelt, and there's the haddock, and the schmelling, and there's braddock. They ought to make it up and all be friends. Now, the people of Sardinia should give sardines to Abyssinia, and they will give their abbeys in exchange. The Albinos of Albania should meet Rues of Romania and sing sweet carols on the mountain range. Oh, the Polish feeling perky should address a note to Turkey, asking for her Turkishest delight. And the Turks who know what peace is should exchange their love with Greases, the Eskimos and Kaffirs should unite. Oh, there'll be peace if France but offers to replenish German coffers for the franc that she's devalued for her ends. In the mighty hall of Caxton, let's put Mosley next to Maxton. Oh, they ought to make it up and all be friends. <laughs>